Well, I think that I think that probably the best question is to to people get married because mm-hmm. you know it's it's about the covenant. Okay, so let's just talk about there's a societal marriage concept and there's a covenant. I think that a lot of people are getting married for the wrong reasons. That's why we have a high 100%. divorce rate. That's why we have a high mm-hmm. divorce rate because people are getting married for the wrong reasons. They're not getting married because of the connection, mm-hmm. the, part, the partnership, and as you stated, RV, the business part, uh, part of it. Uh, the buying power goes up when you got two individuals that are uh, married. Uh, and that that's their contracts for loans and everything that's, you know, that that speaks to that. Uh, when you got when you have a, a partner marriage, it's it you got buying power. Uh, but I think that today's uh, you know situation that goes on that's going on with the marriage is that people are getting married for the wrong reasons. And yet, but yes, you still should get married because but you should get married because of the right reason. You should get married because you love that person, you want to have a, you want to be a, a lifelong partner with that with that person. That's it. That's what's important. Uh, but then those are those individuals that know that they don't really function well in a partnership. They don't function well with longevity uh, in a relationship. Um, they don't function well with uh, communicating with uh, with someone about their own feelings. Those individuals should not get married. So, in 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 the scope of things. Yes, you should, but there are some individuals out there that should not.